Okay. Remind that if I forget. Teachers, uh, teachers attitude I have explained and I think uh, you have understood what is teachers aptitude and how can it affect the class it can affect the class positively as well as uh, negatively okay if like there is a cooperation between teachers and students so the class will be more lively the teach the learner will be uh, more uh, Enhance the knowledge of the learner will be more enhanced after the class, okay. And if the learners are not satisfied with the teacher's behavior, teacher's attitude, so they might be disinterested in the class, they might be disinterested in the learning. So, this is how the uh, like the teacher's attitude is uh, affecting the learners, the learning activity negatively, okay. And here, the learner's attitude. The learner's attitude to engage in the class to learn effectively is also very important to, uh, to maintain the decorum of the class. Learner attitude is a primary uh, primary thing, okay? Without learner's cooperation, teacher will not able to teach because if, the learn, if there is a continuous disturbance from the learner's side, so the teacher will not able to communicate with them effectively okay and even if the learner is not willing to learn anything that is also a problem okay now the support materials like the ppts the charts that we are including in ppts models okay marker these all are the teaching ads okay like if i come in the class that uh, this virtual class i come in the class and uh, i just don't uh, made any ppt okay and uh, i just uh, start speaking about any topic so that is why just give me one minute okay just give me one minute Sorry, class. Let's begin. So you understood how the support material can affect the class positively. The PPDs will help you to just engage in the class properly. Okay, to in to be more. Or interested towards the material that is being taught, you will be able to link to that thing. Okay. Now, instructional facilities, method of teaching that is teacher centered, learner centered, and team teaching. Okay. So, the method of teaching, like what method I am using, I am using the teacher centered method or the learner centered methods is being used in the class. So, that, that will also affect the uh, learning outcomes. Okay, that will have a significant impact on the learning outcomes, like which method we are using. You have, uh, I'm not going deep into teacher centered and learner centered because I have taken a full fledged class on this topic. Okay, now teaching learning environment. The environment in which the learning is happening is also very important. If there is a constant uh, 
chaos in the uh, in the environment there is a disturbance from the uh, either the learner side or the teacher side okay so that will also you know affect the class uh, there will some disturbance or uh, some no, noisy uh, thing in the class or if the uh, like from the learner side if there is any nuisance so that will also affect the class so these are just points i am explaining you and in the exam there will be questions from that okay now it is up to you how you can decode that uh, from where this question is okay you will not uh, uh, get to see the direct question from like what uh, how the learner's attitude will affect positively negatively none of the above you will not see this type of question okay the question will be indirectly so teaching learning environment institutional or administrative setup that also a sub part of the environment economic factors classroom management teacher training or experience if a teacher is a fresher or um, he or she doesn't have a previous experience it might uh, affect the class how the teacher is managing the classroom okay economic factors like if i am taking the class i uh, have some economic i have some monetary uh, things related to this class for this class there is a internet connection that needs money okay so this will these factors will affect the um, uh, teaching okay any questions from this slide no ma'am no ma now uh, this is the detailed Uh, explanation of the points that I have mentioned earlier, I have explained it to you as well. But there are some key points that you have to remember. Okay, my 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 notes are not so bulky. I'm so sorry for that. Like, if you are interested in those bulky notes, I can suggest you the book. But the notes that I am give you, giving you are very like crisp to the point. So, if anyone is interested in that, just let me know. Teachers' attitude. No, we can give that reference now. After Sorry. the class. the reference of the book that you were mentioning. Okay. Uh, now, teachers' attitude. Teaching is an art, and quality of teaching depends on dedication, love, and devotion of the teacher towards the subject. Okay. Teachers lack a teacher's lack of confidence. Here, this thing. Teacher training or experience. Okay. Just. Uh, try to link between the things that i am teaching you try to link between the things teacher training or experience and here lack of confidence this comes into that point teachers lack of confidence due to poor conceptual clarity may severely affect teaching like if a teacher is not having a command on his own subject so that will affect the teaching to make teaching effective and productive following following attitudes can be developed by a teacher physical mental and Uh, emotional aspect uh, aspect should be given adequate weight in developing teachers attitude like there is a professional course of bed okay that is a professional course or an eligibility for being a teacher so in this course various things are taught to teacher that how we can engage in the class how we can engage with the students okay in bed the overall development of teachers attitude is happening So this is exclusively for the teachers. So these are the things that comes under teach teachers' uh, attitude. Now learners' attitude. Effective learn learning can help in the following ways. Learning uh, should be enhanced by both sides, teachers as well as the learners. So some of the key point of learners' attitude are <laughs> more intensity of learning, more retention. joyful learning more is scope of cognitive development self directed learning self motivation for for the learning these are just the fancy words just understand the concept that i have told you about the learners attitude and you will be able to solve the questions i am not saying just to, like by heart all you are you will not to suppose to learn all these things because there are so many subjects and there are so much in each subject okay so don't just learn everything just try to understand the concept and solve the questions okay then you will see that how just understanding a concept of anything helps you in solving the question here the uh, 
learner should be interested in the subject uh, like so the concentration of the learner must be more on the topic that is being taught uh, learner can learn himself cognitive here cognitive means the intellectual abilities of a learner cognitive means the abilities related to uh, mind mental abilities okay so uh, now learners attitude effect teaching learning process in a number of ways disturbing or negative attitude of people interrupt the learning process for creating a lively teaching environment learners participative attitude is must okay uh, just uh, imagine a class is happening a setup of offline class a teacher is teaching something and there are 40 people sitting in the class okay teacher is teaching something and after the completion of the content teacher is asking the questions from the people and from out of the 40 students no one is replying to the teacher okay so just imagine this situation so in this situation the teacher will also dishearten okay and there will be a like a very rigid setup of the class so this will affect the classroom uh, this will affect the like um, this will affect the learning process in a negative sense okay qualities and trait of learners such as their level of intelligence their attitude their learning style aptitude their readiness to take risks uh, risk etc can impact the way they learn okay if you understand the concept you will relate to that that what is the attitude of the learner what is their level of intelligence like for class fifth student I can't teach uh, the class fifth student calculus, okay? The syllabus for the student is basic addition, subtraction. So this is the thing that uh, should be taught to them. There is no concept of, the, like if a student is in a lower standard, the syllabus for them is different. If a, a student is in higher uh, uh, standard, their syllabus is different. So according to their intelligence, the subject is taught to them, okay? This is the learner's attitude. Any questions from this slide? No one. Okay, we will con continue. Now the support materials. You are since this is the online class, you are much familiar with the support material here. Like what I am, the, what the things that are supporting to me is a good internet connection. Uh, the PPTs that I am using or any videos if I am using in uh, my class, I am including that in my class. Okay. So support materials are, support material is very essential which affect teaching learning process. It is an important resource in teaching, okay? Support materials includes, like if it is a uh, offline class, so textbooks, magazines, journals, periodicals, practice questions, these are helpful in the offline class. Teacher solution manual, etc. These are helpful in teaching and learning process. The support material aim to support teachers and students in achieving the learning outcomes of any subject. Okay, so I have told you a thing that um, the teach uh, before the teaching, there are some set of objectives that need to be achieved after the class. Okay, there are certain goals that uh, predetermined goals are there that a teacher need to achieve. That comes in a learning outcomes. Okay. So that we have to achieve after the completion of the class, after the completion of the content. So these support material helps the teachers to attain that predetermined goal, to attain that objectives, okay, objectives of the class. Now instructional facilities, it assists an instruct, uh, instructor in teaching learning process. Instructor means the teacher. I am the instructor here, okay. They supplement teaching methods and See, support materials and instruction facilities are overlapping. So there is not any questions, there, there are not any questions that will ask you to classify the things that either they are in support material or instruction facilities. So they are just, uh, uh, it can be um, helpful from both the sites and instruction facilities are exclusively for the instructor, okay? They supplement teaching methods and are themselves not as self-supporting as teaching methods. Instructional facilities plays a great role in effective learning, teaching learning process. They include the TV, the radio, the tape recorders, the projectors, okay, the film strips, internet, and so on. So these are helpful for instructors. Now, 
teaching learning environment to create a good teaching there learning there was a question on the previous slide something related to the previous yes yes yesterday in the test there was a question related to this one this okay. particular app whether they supplement whether they can be replaced support materials can they replace the exact teaching uh, so can you just uh, read out the question if you have yeah one second if it is your phone you can share your screen use of uh, yeah yeah i'll share on oh, okay wait i will stop sharing No, I'll um yes. I'll share it in in the group. Is would, would that be fine, ma'am? Okay, okay, okay. Just read the question. I posted that that screenshot in uh, the MDY group. Okay. <clears throat> Um, if you can open the MDY group, um, that question is there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Statement one is use of support materials during teaching can replace teaching app if used carefully. Online methods are effective supplement for improving quality of teaching and learning in the okay but the first question is use of the support materials during teaching can replace teaching act if used it can't, it can't be it can't completely replace the teaching act it'll just act as a support material but it can't replace the teaching act itself right ma'am and i think the question is itself like the statement one is not complete itself okay there is something missing in the statement yeah there are so many questions which were like that the questions were not framed properly the mm -hmm. options mm -hmm. were not reasonable yeah yesterday the test I don't know about the others, but I felt the questions were not framed well. And the options also were not right many. And it is like that someone has just uh, translated the question from Hindi to English and the translation was not done properly. Could be, ma'am. Yeah, statement one is wrong and second is correct. Okay. So assertion reason type question can also be um, there. Okay. From this topic. Should we move to the next? Yes, ma'am. Teaching learning environment. <clears throat> to create a good teaching learning environment, both the psychological and instructional perspective should be taken into account. In an effective teaching and learning environment, both the teacher and the student play an important role. I have explained how. The teacher and the student both are important in maintaining the environment of the class. Okay. A learning environment is a diverse platform. See, here the thing we are explaining about the environment. An environment is a diverse platform where users engage and interact to learn new skills. While learners can learn in an array of settings, the term refers to the more preferred and accurate alternative to the traditional classroom. Classroom communication is always informal. I have highlighted this because there was a question from this, uh, like this exact line. I, uh, as far as I remember, the exact line was uh, there in a previous year question. So what it means that classroom uh, classroom communication is informal means if you have to ask something, if you are having a doubt, 
on any thing on any topic that is being taught in the class you can just ask the teacher directly okay you don't need to just first go to there is not any process that you have to just register your name that i want to ask this you have to write an application you have to submit that to the principal or you are the founder of any institution so there is no hierarchy if you want to ask something to the teacher you can ask there in the class okay so the classroom communication is always informal see the classroom communication now it is what the ugc is doing what the nt is doing no they just use a word before the main word okay here the main word is communication and the, the main thing is communication in the classroom now they just word they just add a word before the main word and the student is confused that they think that the, uh, the whole sentence is about the first word so the sentence is about the classroom so when we think about a classroom we must uh, say that the classroom is a formal thing like the student will sit in a proper manner a proper uniform is there the teacher is there okay so they will uh, think that a classroom is formal and they will just mark this sentence as incorrect this is a trick okay just try to remember that in the classroom they just add a like other word in the uh, in the like before the first word now here the main word is communication in the classroom now student with miss interpreted with the classroom clear but i am trying to tell you you are just uh, i think you are relating to that what i am trying to say yes uh, there are plenty of questions on this trend there is a main word and before the main word there is a some secondary word this is the primary word this is the secondary word okay so this was the teaching learning environment institutional or administrative setup administrative setup with variety and freedom of choice for teachers like in the uh, in the teaching process one should not dictate the teacher that today you have to complete this thing in the class now this is your target you have to complete in the class so uh, this is called a pressure the teacher is teaching under the pressure so the teacher will not able to give to give the 100% of herself because there is a pressure that uh, the now here the um, quality is just uh, compromised with the quantity okay so there must be freedom to the teacher the pace that the teacher want to teach the thing that teacher want to teach previously or the after okay that is up to the teacher there is no uh, other interference from other side right so freedom of choice for teacher generate the healthy teaching environment teachers are free to prepare their lesson plan no one is there to tell the teacher that what you have to teach in the class okay so they are free to prepare their lesson plans and use variety of teaching aids they can use the examples they can use the projector ppt the assignment project anything what they want to use in teaching process administrative discipline of institution should be followed while the administrative pressure should be avoided okay there must be some discipline of the student institutions that a teacher should follow but the uh, pressure the like useless pressure should be avoided administrative setup of institutions should be designed in such a manner so that the balance of relationship between the teacher student is well maintained any questions from this slide teachers training so teacher training is a continuous process that enhances teachers training skills master new knowledge develop proficiency so the uh, course that is bed is there that is mandatory for uh, in india the bed is a professional course bed or dlt that is mandatory to become a teacher in india so they just enhances the teachers skills okay teachers training skill teacher acquires new knowledge develop a proficiency which will help to improve students learning okay the now after uh, the skill training the teacher will learn that what the what and uh, what, what uh, students actually need okay the individual differences the teacher will able to address the individual differences training will help the teachers to understand various domains of learner and plan lessons and sorry this is teach okay teach accordingly 
Any questions? These are the factors that are affecting the teaching. Any questions from this? No, no. See, factors affecting teaching related to teacher, learner, support material, instructional facilities, learning environment, and the institution. Okay, I have covered all these things, right? So, why I am showing you syllabus after the completion of every topic? Because I just want you to stick to the syllabus, okay? You just know that what is what is what NT is going to ask in the exam, right? So we have completed this thing. Now we will move to the questions. So after this class, we have completed all these things. Now only teaching support system and the evaluation system is left. Um, there are hierarchies and different people have given different theories about uh, different aspects. Those things uh, would you be covering? That is a completely static portion. I will just uh, like uh, share the notes with you of that. Because if uh, someone is giving any definition, so there is no, uh, there is, I don't think that I have to explain that what the definition means. Because if they are going to ask the definitions, they just put the exact definition, okay, exact thing that is said by any philosopher. So they are the completely static portion. And if you yeah. want me to explain that, I will do that also. No, no, that's not needed. You can give notes, ma'am, but for the um, Bloom's taxonomy and there are... Uh, no, no, from, for Bloom's taxonomy, there is a, there is a class that uh, there is a class that covers the things of the Bloom's taxonomy, okay? One yeah. class is there for that. I yeah. will explain everything about that, right? Yeah. And now we will do the questions. <clears throat> The first improvement step in teaching is there is a question in uh, that I have covered earlier on on this like you have seen these statements before. You can solve this question very easily. Tell me the answer. What is the correct answer for this? Option A, man. Option A, planning beforehand. Yes. This is our first thing. Okay. Planning beforehand uh, will help to achieve the predetermined goals or objectives that uh, will help in enhancing the learning outcomes. Okay. The second question, information overload in a classroom environment by a teacher will lead to high level of participation, semantic precision, effective uh, impression, or delayed feedback. Last one. Delayed feedback, I guess. Is it four months? Yes, everyone is saying four, so the answer is four. Because here the information is overloaded, the, so the processing, the, the learner's processing will be delayed, so that will lead to the delayed feedback, okay? And the next question. So this type of question comes from this topic here, classroom environment. Factors affecting teaching, classroom environment. Here, factors affecting teaching, teaching, okay, or teacher's aptitude. This type of question. These all are previous year questions. I haven't mentioned it here, but these all are previous year questions. <clears throat> now this question, which of the following are the classroom related factors that influence effectiveness of teaching?
see here in the question there is that uh, the thing is written that is influence effectiveness okay so uh, it can influence the teaching positively as well as negatively yes c a b d d yes the correct answer is a b and d because the cultural background of the student will be of no use the social economic status we have i think covered this question a different question where the options were similar okay so adherence to linear pattern of communication this may affect the uh, teaching outcome learning outcomes negatively but here the question is influence effectiveness positively or negatively we have to include both the things right now the next question which of the following factors does not impact teaching two two options okay very easy question the correct option is two either this is statement is wrong but uh, in the perspective of this question this statement is correct okay social economic factor of the teacher and the student does not impact teaching identify the factors affecting uh, teaching related to quality learning in uh, environment in an institution Take a screenshot of this. This is your homework, okay? And I have highlighted this because you have to find the questions that uh, have mentioned this term learning in women. I have seen a plenty of questions from this trend that they have just written the learning in women in the question and made some fancy statements related to the statement. Okay? Take a screenshot. You need not to answer this question. Just take a screenshot of that and let me know after you have done it. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Let's move on. A successful teacher is one who is. Um. Which option? One one. Option one. Okay. Correct. The option one is the right answer. Quiet and reactive. Like uh, how a teacher is supposed to be quiet, okay? And passive, or how a teacher is supposed to be passive and not dominating also. So these are the wrong answers. The correct answer is first compassionate and disciplinary. Okay. <clears throat> now the next question. Correct answer is first. When the learning out, here you know, this is the key word. When the learning outcomes of students are ensured with employment of less resources and effort on the part of a teacher, and more initiative of self learning is evident, which of the following expressions will describe a teacher most appropriately? Just read out the first line again and again. Less resources, employment of less resources. Okay. I made sport. That's an option for anyone else. Because um, it talks about less resources using less resources read the other things one on the employment of less resources and effort on the part of a teacher and more initiative for self-learning is evident so what do you mean by this thing practical what is practical just, just Ma'am, in which uh, is it the effectiveness? 
yes it is the effectiveness okay if we are using the less resources and the outcomes are more okay so what we will say the, te the teacher is effective or the teaching is effective okay now the next question reflective practice implies use of ones reflective practice implies use of ones reinforcement on learning okay. is it reinforcement on learning no see this is a question that was that was asked of like no no context to the syllabus so i have explained this in the previous slide okay see uh, one thing is cognition cognition means the thinking ability and what is metacognition just to read out this thing when a person thinks about something using his mental ability okay it is said to be cognition ability of the person okay and metacognition is ability to think about your thinking if i am thinking that what i am thinking then this is metacognition okay like you have uh, uh, just uh, read about the thing metaverse metaverse is there na so cognition is if we are uh, using our mental ability or we are thinking something and metacognition is if we are thinking that what we are thinking so this is metacognition so when someone reflects on the thought and thinks about the actions okay this act of self evaluation is called metacognition now the this thing this thing reflective practice implies use of ones reflective practice means uh, anyone want to say something yeah i i feel that it is uh, metacognition ha ah, yes now now you can relate na how this is related metacognition and reflective practice yes yes ma'am so there you can find uh, some questions that are out of like no way you just think that this is out of a syllabus question but you have to deal with that question very smartly just reflective practice is uh, is thinking about what we have learned or done yes okay so thinking up uh, thinking something that what we are we are already have or thinking something about our thinking that is meta cognition okay only thinking the first level of thinking would fall under cognition right yes like if uh, if i am thinking that uh, i have to give the no you just see examination i'm thinking of giving that examination and now again if i'm thinking that after clearing the exam uh, i will enroll into my phd okay i will start getting any scholarship and from that scholarship i have to uh, publish my research papers i will publish my paper in scopus so now what we are doing we are thinking about our thinking okay so this is what metacognition we have thought something and again now we are thinking something right yes yes ma'am which among the following things a teacher should keep in mind while teaching okay before solving this question um, just read this what are the maxims of teaching okay some maxims of teaching are there like teaching should go from easy to complex first a teacher should teach the student the easy thing the easy concept then for the complex uh, problems like in every mathematics problem the starting question like if 7.1 is there the starting question 1 2 3 4 that are very easy question okay and after the 4 to 5 question they start to uh, going you some tricky questions okay not difficult but some tricky questions from known to unknown first a known thing is the thought then the teacher move from known to unknown from whole to part okay like first the thing cycle is told to the learner and after the thing the paddle is there the handle is there the wheel is there the chain is there okay and this is also known as gestalt philosophy from whole to part from abstract to concrete first we just tell the abstract thing to the student then we say the concrete thing like before solving any questions we just uh, like before solving the questions of related to pythagoras theorem the teacher explains what the pythagoras theorem is right so these are the maxims of teaching the questions um, you find certain questions from this topic now solve this question 
which among the following things a teacher should keep in mind while teaching option c yes ma'am c option is it okay. clear Wait, 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 wait. I just um, I think this is from abstract to concrete to abstract. Also, yes, yes. But seen to unseen was not explained. No, no, no. The this is I think I have just uh, just uh, there's a mistake from my side. Uh, in maxims of teaching, this is from concrete to abstract. Okay, we go from concrete to abstract thing. Clear? Okay, right now. Let's correct this thing. This is from uh, we uh, from concrete. We go to abstract. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Now solve this question. Yeah. Now let's see. Okay. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Now solve this question. Which of the following does not belong to effective teaching? See, now just show me your abilities. This is a very easy question, and at the same time, this is a very tricky question. Option C. Mm -hmm. Option C. Mama, C I think. And e. okay uh teaching is a one-time process i think in our classes we have used the statement multiple times that teaching is a continuous process C is eliminated, ma'am. Both B and C are eliminated. Yes, teaching is a continuous process. Teaching is not a one-time process. And if teacher has some knowledge of the subject, can she be effective? No. 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 So I think it is A. Yes. Teach if uh, the teacher has some knowledge, he or she can teach. But they can't teach effectively if they haven't command on their subjects, right? So this this is this is this is the trick. This is the trick. They are saying that some knowledge, okay, and here they are saying that effective manner. So some and effective is not related. Contradictory. Yes. Okay. If a teacher has some knowledge, he or she can teach, but they can't teach effectively, right? So C yes, and B yes. are eliminated. So correct option is A. See how this question was easy or not. Yes, if we carefully look through the words and the options, then yes. This question was easy, but at the same time, this question was tricky. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Like, see, yes. it, it tells that uh, which of the following does not belong to effective teaching. So, uh, teaching in both formal and informal, okay, A and B, okay, okay. belong okay. to yeah, effective okay. teaching. Yes. Okay, okay, very good, very good. I'm so sorry. Here it is written that which of the problem does not belong to. So the correct option will be C. C. Very C good. Should be done. Very good. What's your name? Manoj, I think Manojji. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Okay. So these are the mistakes that the student commit. Clear? Now the next yes, question. Uh, which among the following is not a characteristic of a good teacher? Very easy question. Just answer me, guys. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes,
उटेरियन 